Alright. So let's start with the dashboard. The dashboard covers all details on your account, including, the number of automation, forms, campaigns, landing pages, and subscribers. It covers also the recent campaigns you have here, metrics, top domains, and openers by location. You can monitor your audience growth, and campaigns engagement over the past days, weeks, or months. On the right side, you can check your account performances metrics, and engaged subscribers. Now let's start with campaigns. On the campaign side, you have the recent campaign sent, with all statistics, opens, clicks, bounces complaints, and the recent openers with the timeline on the right side. Let's check for example, the report. Just by clicking on the report, you have all the details related to subscribers who opened, clicked, or unsubscribed. Now let's go back, and check other campaigns there. So by the way, you can create a regular campaign, app spit campaign, or a sequence, to use in your automation. Let's create a campaign here. We can give a campaign name, and select the list you want for this campaign. Click save, and continue here. You need to add a subject, then click save and continue. Then, here we have to choose one of the templates, so let's choose this template, and now we need to customize it, by using drag and drop template editor. Just click, and customize your template. Here you can customize anything, adding images, buttons, and a menu. You can select images from Splash here. You can also add your social media icons. So once you are done, just click save and exit the builder, then click save and continue. Then at this moment, we have three options to choose, send your campaign right away. Send it later, you can fix a time and a date. Or you can use an intelligent schedule. This is a powerful feature, that allows you to maximize your open rate, by using machine learning and a history of collected data. Alright, now let's move to the lists. Basically, you can create your list in a few clicks. So just click on create list. Fill out the name of the list, display name and a description. Select whether, you want the type to be single opt-in, or double opt-in. You can automate your list to subscribe, or unsubscribe from other lists. This will allow you to segment your subscribers in a better way. The last thing you need, is to just fill out your company or personal details, and save. One more thing related to tags, you can create tags with a click off button here, just give it a name, and click save. And you can see here, the number of subscribers per tag. You can also add a suppression list, if you have any list of blacklisted subscribers. You can just import it here, and it will be your local suppression list. You can also manage your subscribers here. Create filters, depending on the recently opened campaigns, or maybe the behavior of your subscribers in a specific time frame. So now let's go to the automation side. To create automation, just click on Create Automation. You can choose from the multiple pre-built templates, depending on your business, e-commerce, or other categories, like, as bloggers, creators, or small businesses. So we can choose one of the pre-built templates here. We have Abandoned Cart, Birthday, Welcome, Tag Engaging, Black Friday, Flash Sales and much more. Let's select this Welcome pre-built template. It has three elements of the list, just click on select template. To use this template, we need just to update form in this pre-built template. You can choose any form you want. Now let's move to the second step, click here to update. You can choose a delay of one hour or more. You can also move it to one week, or anything you want. In the third step, you can select your campaigns. It will be sent just one hour after this action. You can automate your campaigns, or all your workflows in this way. After that you are done, you can change your automation status to online. Now, let's get to forms. 
to create a new form, just click on Create Form. You can choose one of the four styles, inline, modal, floating box, or floating bar, depending on what you need. Let's choose this inline style. You have to choose one of these templates. Let's start with this. Here for this template, you can customize anything you want. You can add a new field just by clicking on this plus icon. You can edit the text for the headline, the colors, the fonts. Also you can remove or add fields. You can customize anything, from button to fields, the text, and to see how it looks like, just click on preview option. Once you are done, you need just to embed your form on your website. For this, you can choose the JavaScript code, which you need just to copy here, or HTML, or maybe you can share the link with your subscribers. Once you embed the code in your website, you can also use the reports to monitor the engagement of your subscribers. And for this, you have all the details, number of visitors, number of subscribers, and the conversion rate. Now let's move to the landing page. This feature allows you, to create unlimited landing pages. So just click on create landing page. Give it a name, choose a list name, where your subscribers will land. Then hit save and continue. Then, you can choose the template you want. Let's choose this one, for example, this webinar template, and customize it with the drag and drop editor. For this webinar template, you can customize all the content. You can add images, add new text, you can add anything you want, like the social media icons, dividers, texts, buttons, colors and much more. Once you're done, just click save and close. Now, we have just to click on, save and continue. In this last step, you will have two options, you can choose to link your custom domain to your landing page. So you need just to add your domain, something like domain.com, or use the predefined landing page link. And by the way, you can also add a redirection link, to redirect your subscribers after they signed up. The last thing I want to show is integrations. Sago Mail connects with many third-party apps, like Zapier, Shopify, BigCommerce, Stripe, WordPress, and much more. Thank you for watching.